Bye guys. Hello. This yeah. week's lesson is about Abraham again. <laughs> yes, this week's lesson is again about Abraham. All right. So first, let's let's remember what is a covenant. What is it, Riley? It's a promise that lasts so long until even after the person dies that put the promise there. Yeah, so a covenant is a binding promise that goes deeper than a true promise between two people. And a true covenant, like Riley said, endures for many, many generations, okay? So if someone made a covenant, that meant that they meant it to stay true long after that person died, all right? God lovingly makes covenants with his people, and you can always, always count on his promises. Yep. When, when can you count on God's promises? Always. always. Always, yes. So We know that the covenant that God made with Abraham was not only God being, or er, that in that covenant, God was not only loyal to Abraham, Right? He's loyal to all his children. Yes, children, but great, great, great what about Abraham? Mm. Was Abraham loyal to God? Yes. Yes. So today we're going to continue to learn about Abraham. And we're going to learn about Abraham using the word loyal. loyal. Do you know how to spell loyal, Jackson? L O Y. Mm hmm. E A L. So L O Y A L. That spells loyal. And Abraham was loyal to God, and God was loyal to Abraham, right? Uh huh. Yep. So the first word letter in the word loyal is L. All yep. right. <laughs> L stands for love. Abraham loved his family. And when God called Abraham to go to the land that had God had prepared for him, he invited his nephew Lot to go with him. They traveled together for quite a while and settled in an area near a place called Bethel. Both Abraham and Lot had many sheep and cattle, but the land where they settled did not have enough fresh grass and water for all the livestock. And so the two big families began to fight about it. Abraham, with his godly, faithful character, offered a peaceful plan. So now, loyal, what's the second letter in it? O. Very good. O. O stands for offered. Abraham offered the best land to Lot. Can you think about that? So there, were, there was land, and they were going to split up this land so that Lot had part and Abraham had part. But one of the pieces of land seemed to be a little bit better than the other piece of land. And Abraham offered to Lot that he could choose. What do you think Lot would choose? The, the better one. You think the better land? Let's read and find out. Instead of insisting the, for the best for himself, he offered the choice to Lot. He said in Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 and 9, it says, let's not have any quarreling among you. Among you and me. You know what quarreling means? Arguing. Mm -hmm. Arguing and fighting, yeah. Um, or between your herders and mine, for we are close relatives. It is not the whole land before you. Let's part company. If you go left, I'll go right. If you go right, I'll go left. So he, he told Lot, he said, you pick which land, piece of land you want, right? Why do you think he did that? Because, because he knew that he might want to choose his own and that it wouldn't be fair if he just got to have the better one and he got to have a not better one. It's so because he's letting he knows him chip. And also oh. he knows that... Hey, let's let Jackson say what he was going to say, okay? I think that it's because he knows that God <laughs> help him through <laughs> it even if... That was what I, was I know you were gonna say it, but Jackson was saying it first. It's fine, okay. All right. So Abraham the, understood the importance of peace and unity among people. He wasn't afraid to let Lot pick which land he wanted. He trusted 
that God would take care of him too. Um, Lot did pick what appeared to be the less, best land, and it was an area called Sodom. He pitched his tent there thinking it would be the best place to live, but it wasn't. It was very wicked, so wicked, in fact, that God had to destroy the whole area, and Lot barely made it through alive. Abraham, on the other hand, appeared to take the leftovers, but God was looking out for him. God rewarded his unselfishness and turned what was the lesser choice into the best choice. You all were right, huh? All right, so what letter comes next? We did L-O-Y. Y, right, Riley? Y stands for, you know that word? Yes. 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 So Abraham said yes to give Lot help, even though Lot had been selfish, you see. Sodom was seized by king, um, by enemy kings, and Lot and his family were carried off by the enemy. When Abraham heard of this, he did not think of the differences between them. Um, Abraham instead thought of the fact that they were family. So he came to Lot's rescue and saved him and all of his household and possessions from the enemy. As a result, Abraham's reputation as a mighty warrior became known throughout the land. All right. So Abraham said what? Yes. Yes. He said yes to helping his family Lot, even though Lot had made some selfish decisions, right? Yeah. All right. So the next letter is A. A. And that stands for allegiance. If you have allegiance for someone or something, you pledge to be loyal to them. So Abraham had allegiance to who? God. God, yes. He was loyal to God and God was loyal to him. When Abraham returned from rescuing Lot and defeating the king of Elam, the other kings in the area took notice of him. The king of Sodom came out to meet him, as did Melchizedek. 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 Okay. The king of Salem. Um, both kings offered gifts to Abraham. So kings started to offer gifts to him, right? Um, but in those days, if you accepted a gift from the, a king, it was the same thing as pledging allegiance to the king, right? Um. Abraham refused the gifts of the king of Sodom because that king did not follow God. Mm. So Abraham didn't want to pledge allegiance to someone who did not follow God. Melchizedek, um, on the other hand, was, a unique, was unique in the fact that he was both a priest of God and a king. In fact, the New Testament says that he was a preview of what Jesus is, the highest priest and the king of all kings. All right, so Abraham accepted gifts from Melchizedek. Um, and then Abraham gave him one-tenth of everything. Back then, giving one-tenth of everything was the standard king's portion. Abraham didn't mind acknowledging him as a good king, king because he knew that Melchizedek Melchizedek <laughs> served God. All right. So how much did he give the king? 10%. One, one tenth or 10%. Ten. Yes. So even today, do you know that we still give offering a church, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Just like that, right? So we should give a portion of our money to God because that is the way of saying God is our king. Many Christians give one-tenth of their money to the church because that is the king's portion. This is also, do you know what it's called? Offering. Mm -hmm. Or, you know? Or, um, or um, giving. There's another word that a lot of times we put with offering. It starts with a T. It's called tithe. 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 Even though you are young and can give to God, maybe you don't have much money. But if you give and get an allowance or you make money doing chores or hosting a lemonade stand, you could consider giving one-tenth back to God. And it will be a great way to tell 
God, that he is your king, right? All right, I need you to sit up so I can read. Thank you. All right, the last letter is what? We did L-O-Y-A. L. L, yes. L stands for lack nothing. Because God made a covenant with Abraham and because Abraham honored God and was loyal to him, God took care of Abraham and Abraham lacked nothing. He had everything he needed, even the son he had longed for, right? Yep. All right. So what have we learned today? We learned that Abraham was what to God? Loyal. Loyal to yeah. God um, and his family, right? He was yep. also loyal to Lot, right? Um, that is a really good quality to have. How can you be loyal to God and your family like Abraham? All right, so let's think of the first, first thing. How can we be loyal to Abraham or to God and our family? Riley? You can, we can give him money at church. We can tithe and give offering, yeah. Um, let's start with the first letter. Remember the first letter in loyal is? Jackson. Love or L, L or for love. for love. Yes. So we can show love to our family members and friends, spend time with them, talk to them, laugh with them, pray for them, and um pray pray with them and for them, right? We can also play with them. Yep. Oh, play with them. Yes, you're right. Um, your play sounds kind of like pray. All right, so what was the second letter in loyal? Mm -hmm. What? It was O. O, and do you remember what O stands for? Offering. Offer. Offer. Offer, offer the best to others, right? Right, we're going to offer the best. If we've got two things and we're giving one away, are we going to keep the best things for ourselves or are we going to offer them to somebody else? Offer, offer them, them to someone else. Mm -hmm. Because what, what will happen? Will that mean we'll always have, we be, won't have good stuff? No. That will be selfish to just throw away all the stuff that you don't think is that cool and then just leave all the cool stuff that you like with you because other people might think that those things are not that good either. Mm. And, they didn't, and they might not yeah. have that many stuff because people have been doing that so they might not have many of the good stuff so you need to try to help them and give them good mm -hmm. so. offer offer the best things to other because god will what reward you and take care of you right all right what does y stand for yes 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 yes, yes. say yes to give help to those around you just like abraham helped a lot right the Bible tells us that if Lot was grateful for Abraham's kindness and loyalty, um, right, the Bible tells us if Lot was even grateful for Abraham's kindness and loyalty, but that wasn't the point. The point was that Abraham had the actions and the attitudes God wanted him to have. Ask God to help you say yes to giving help to others, even if nothing's in it for you, right? Mm -hmm. So even if there's nothing you gain, from getting it, we should what? Do it. We should it. Off, um, say yes and give help, right? That's like the time whenever, um, whenever we went, whenever brother was going to Granny's and I wanted to go there and help pick up sticks. Mm -hmm. All right. When there's nothing fun for me to do. Okay. All right. So A stands for allegiance. allegiance. Don't give allegiance <clears throat> or loyalty to anything that does, that goes against God and his ways, right? Yep. Show allegiance for God by making him at least one, or by giving him at least one tenth of any money you earn. This will tell God that he is your king. Yep. All right. And L, what did, what did lack, the L stand for? Lack. lack. Lack everything or lack nothing? Lack, lack nothing. Lack nothing. If you have a relationship with God, you too will lack nothing. There, there may be some certain things you want, but God will certainly give you everything you need and then some. 
trust God, be loyal to him, just like Abraham, right? Yep. All right, yep. we're going to read Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. It's okay, I'll read it. Um, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in this house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. All right, so what is that verse telling us? That if you bring him his tithe, if you bring him his offering, there will be plenty of stuff for you. Mm -hmm, right, that he's going to bless you so much in return. He says that he will open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be enough room to store it. Can you imagine that? He's going to bless you so much that you won't have enough place to store it. Well, the house will be so filled with it that it will pop. <laughs> you think? All right. Yes. Well, we'll have to see. All right. So would you like to pray today? Okay. God, please help the people in heaven that have missed their family in, on earth here. And please help the people on earth make them not miss their people and heal them from tears and please help the people in the hospital right now from the coronavirus and other sicknesses and also please help all the people that need help finding you in their heart amen amen Lord, help us to be loyal to you. Forgive us when we fail to do the good that we can. Thank you for always being loyal to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys. We'll see you Bye. next week. Bye.